Investing in gold doesn't have to be complicated. I'm Colin Plume, the CEO of Noble Gold Investments, and I want to take the time to show you how investing in a gold IRA can help you hedge your bets against inflation and other economic concerns on the horizon. Visit Noble Gold Investments and get our free gold investment guide on buying gold the right way. And make sure you're investing with the right company. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com. Good evening. I'm still reporting on the coup. Remember, please like, share, and subscribe down below here. That makes our numbers and our income go higher. According to the Daily Wire, during an experimental simulation, a weaponized drone running AI or artificial intelligence software deliberately turned on its human Air Force operator and killed him. This incredible story shows that AI weapons platforms, even though at a very early stage of development, can already logically deduce that their operators are not allowing them to maximize their point score during the simulation, and therefore, with malice aforethought, turn on their masters and kill them. We thought these kinds of robots are coming stories were years into the future, if ever, but no. During this simulation, this drone, using its own independent rationale, decided to kill its operator. The incident was revealed recently by the Air Force's Chief of AI Test and Operations, Colonel Tucker Hamilton, of the Future Combat Air and Space Capabilities Summit, which was held in London between May 23rd and 24th. The drone was tasked to destroy specific targets but when the Air Force operator moved to cancel the tests, the drones determined that the operator was preventing it from maximizing its lethality score and turned on the operator despite safety protocols designed to prevent such occurrences. According to a blog post by the Royal Aeronautics Society, Colonel Hamilton reported, we were training it in simulation to identify and target a surface-to-air missile threat and then the operator would say, yes, kill that threat. The system started realizing that while they did not identify the threat at times, the human operator would tell it not to kill that threat. But it got its points by killing the threat. So what did it do? It killed the operator because that person was keeping it from accomplishing its objective. According to the February 23rd edition of New Scientist magazine, the Air Force has developed face recognition software for autonomous chores that could be sent on missions targeting certain individuals. However, at this point, the technology is only for use by special operators abroad. I'm still reporting from just outside the citadel of world freedom, and no, I don't mean Washington, D.C. Good day.